Hey guys, welcome back to Tarot by Cherie. We're getting ready to start this reading for my aquas. See, the partnership card just fell out. Um, yeah, and guys, for a limited time, I'm doing a 20-minute read. If you're interested, just click on the word Aquarius underneath one of the videos, and let's go. All right. So guys, you're seeing something in your life right now that you need to put an end to, okay? There's something going on that... Um, is not good for you it's upsetting you it's it's making you it's just dragging you down you're feeling down and out and uh yeah there's i'm also seeing some some connection here to a child or children and planning okay and here you are you're the star so some of you are feeling yourselves you're feeling like um even though you have stuff going on emotionally you're also aware, though, of who you are and the importance of, you know, your keeping your self-esteem intact and not picking wrong people to be around you who will, you know, attack that and pull it, pull it down. Um, and just, you know, you're feeling very self-assured and self-confident right now. And that is a good thing. All right. I'm seeing some kind of good news coming in for some of you that um, right now. The finance thing has you down and out. You're, you're trying your best, you know. Uh, we're all going through this, guys. You know, stick with me here. Stick with, you know, my channel. I'm not telling you not to watch other people's channels. Of course not. But we're going through this together. You know, I promise to be there for you. And, you know, hopefully we're going to get to the other end of this tunnel within the next couple of months. And then there's going to be some miraculous changes. I'm not talking about you know, small changes. I'm talking about some crazy intense stuff. Okay. Here I'm seeing again, you know, people feeling just left out in the cold financially and, and unmotivated and stuck. Um, you know, you don't, you're trying to figure out what to pay and what you can't pay, what you can pay. And yeah, it's getting really rough guys. I get it. All right. Just find your strength right now. We need you to be strong. I, I want you to be strong. I'm being strong. Okay. And we're in this together. We're all waiting for the same thing. All right. Don't shoot the messenger guys. I've been telling you what I've been getting for months. Um, you know, it comes from spirit. It doesn't come from me. So, you know, don't shoot the messenger. It's still coming. It's coming. All right. Um, and here, I'm seeing like some, some kind of, uh, something is confusing somebody today and you're not even dealing with it. You're like, you know what? Forget it. You know, I have all this other stuff to deal with, you know, whatever this thing is that's creating, you know, confusion. You're like, you know what? I I'm not even going to make my, put this on my brain today. I'm just walking away from this. I'm moving away from it and I'm going to deal with it at a different time. All right. Here I'm seeing um, single parents, okay? Single parents are going through it, okay? Um, you're feeling alone in your plight. You're feeling like, you know, nobody cares. Um, life is just, you know, ridiculously hard. And, you know, you're really feeling this emotionally. It's breaking your heart. It's breaking your heart. It's making you sad and feeling like... Um, you know, just pissed off. Okay. Um, yeah. And so much so that again, you're just feeling alone. Guys, you're not alone. We're in this together. Okay. We're in this together. And there's like two or three more months. If that left like this. Okay. Um, so right now we just have to draw on our strength guys. Okay. That's the only way to go and try to get your bills down. Try to get your, lower your bills where you can, right? If you have to go to food pantries, you can go to two or three a week, um, hit, hit the food pantries and it'll free up cash for, to help you pay other things. Um, the food is free. All right. So here I'm seeing someone is coming in for you financially. I'm seeing this, this person, um, or this group of people working on, um, money. And I'm seeing that they're going to bring this in for you. This ace of pentacles. Okay. Is prosperity guys. 
Um, seeing pentacles here, I'm seeing money coming in for you, okay? Um, you're feeling alone and upset and disappointed and disillusioned, okay? And I know not everyone is feeling this way. Some of you are doing okay. You have enough money to get by. But guys, if you can help somebody that's in need of help, check on your neighbors, check on your family, anybody who lives alone, um, and help them if you can, all right? Here, I'm seeing some... All right, somebody that um, someone is interested in uh, on a romantic level, all right? You're just getting clarity on this. It's like you woke up and you were like, wow, I have feelings for this person and it's romantic. And I'm just realizing it. So you're just coming to the realization that, you know, you really care deeply about this person. And, you know, you want to work hard. You want to get this person. You want to work hard on this relationship if you can get this person. And, you know, to want to have a relationship with you. And, you know, you think this, you think a lot of this person, you think they're really smart and funny. And when you're around this person, you just want to like celebrate. Okay. And you have the 10 of pentacles here, which is saying that, you know, this is you with that person celebrating with all this money around you. Okay. So we keep seeing the money and here's the person coming in with their cup. So it looks like that's confirmation. So the way that you're feeling about this person, it looks like, um, they're going to come around. Okay. And you're going to, uh, get into some type of romantic involvement with this person. All right. Just use discernment guys. Use your intuition. Okay. Cause you don't want to end up with what you've ended up with in the past. Okay. And I'm going to show you what you've ended up with in the past. Some of you. All right. You've had these bad endings with these sword tongues and if you don't know what a sword tongue is, guys, I call it a sword tongue. This is a person, a third dimensional, low vibrating person who is operating in this lifetime with no integrity whatsoever, who um, doesn't care about you, your feelings, they're self-centered, and they just, everything they do is, has to do with them, okay? And so this is what you've been dealing with. Now you have this new cycle, all this uh, slew of things coming in for your, um, for your betterment and your happiness, okay? And it's divinely guided. Mostly there's human interaction creating this behind the scenes for all of us. Um, they're doing things to uh, basically clean up the earth. You might be seeing some of this stuff. You know, I'm seeing commercials now for more organic food. Um, I've always tried to eat organic. I don't like eating uh, pesticide soaked food. Um, I've seen what they use to, uh, you know, what they, what they use to spray the food. And it's like this huge arc that just saturates all the food with, uh, I hate to say it, but it's true. It's, you know, like cancer causing pesticides. All right. Roundup. Um, okay. So we're getting off of that. Um, I'm seeing a lot of changes. I'm seeing things happening. All right. So this is making me very happy. Um, but some of you are still defensive and you know, that's all about to change. All right. Now I'm seeing stability and I'm seeing, you know, again, um, confirmation that this person is going to, uh, want to have this relationship with you. They're going to offer you their cup. All right. And you're going to use your intuition, um, on them. And you're going to figure out that this person's going to be very good for you. They're going to provide a lot of stability or add stability to your, um, you know, bringing this to the table. You're not going to be the only one bringing in stability and this isn't just financial stability this is mental stability okay this person's strong this person's very strong and they're going to bring their strength into the relationship and there's a lot of happiness joy and celebrating coming to you okay and guys here i'm seeing you um with all this money around you is this person is going to share and this isn't just coming from this person guys this is finances coming in somebody wants to give to you okay 
somebody is um, bringing finances in. I'm seeing you eventually just um, feeling very independent and, and having your own money and your own everything, you know, and not having to depend on anybody else um, unless you want to. So you're self-sufficed. Um, you know, or whatever the term would be. I know I said that wrong. You're, you're, you're good on your own. Okay. Which is a great feeling. And, you know, but someone is going to be coming in for you over here. I'm seeing somebody's making a decision on something that has been like, this is like a earth shattering decision for you. This is a decision on something that has made you lose sleep. That is making you, uh, have anxiety attacks and just, sadness and yeah i i don't know what this is i feel like it's some kind of a loss that you have to take um and you know it and, and you're you're kind of like um not making this decision because you can't you can't bear to make it but you know that it has to be done okay so it's really like tearing at your heart kind of thing all right and here we have the world is at your feet guys Okay, you have opportunity out there. Go out there and go after what it is you want, guys. Whether it's more money, a different career, a person, whatever it is. Spirit is saying it's it's laying in wait for you. Like you can just, you're going to manifest whatever you want and just go and get it. It's that simple as long as you're in a positive frame of mind, okay? Um so here I'm picking up on someone who um, feels like the person that they want to be with is out of reach right now. Like they, for whatever reason, they can't be with the person they want to be with and it's making them feel defensive. They know this person is, is or they feel like this person is going to be their victory all right. And they're visualizing, they're trying to manifest this person. They're visualizing themselves with this person, celebrating with this person. Okay. But it hasn't come to fruition yet. I'm seeing the 10 of cups here, which is all about love. And this, um, symbolism above is a wish fulfillment coming to fruition, which hasn't yet come to fruition. But so you're thinking about this person, a lot. Okay. A lot. Um, you're really putting a lot of time into this and almost like you can't really live without this person. That's how you feel. All right. Um, and it's agonizing. It's agonizing for you to not have this person in your life and it's making you feel defensive. Okay. Um, there are things going on in the background for your betterment, okay? And just know that if this person is meant to be in your life, uh, Spirit is going to help you out with that, okay? If this turns out to be somebody who's, you know, low vibrating and not really meant for you, um, it's not a definite that it's going to happen. And Spirit really wants you to be strong and they want you to hone this intuition skill, they want you to work on your intuition so that, you know, it's like honing a tool. This is like a very good, strong tool for you to practice with. Um, it's going to be a steering wheel for your ship. It's going to keep you from making, you know, the wrong decisions and keep you from a lot of suffering, guys. Okay. And here I'm seeing somebody stuck, um, feeling stuck. Um, and I'm seeing over here, though... There's, there's, you're, you're bringing in this money, you're manifesting this money. Okay. And you're starting to really like take care of yourself and, and make yourself number one. You're starting to like, um, you know, nurture yourself and do things for yourself and love yourself. And here I, I'm seeing confirmation of this by spirit. They're saying that, you know, because you're taking care of you now and you're putting yourself first everything else is going to fall into place. And this is a, a gift. This is a flourishing wand telling you that things from now on in are going to just continually get better and better for you. All right, guys. So that is great news. Um, I'm seeing um, some kind of commitment here. 
Um, this could be marriage, guys, okay? Because I'm seeing justice here with commitment and I'm seeing um, spirit, all right? So also some kind of conflict and burden with um, the, the, the justice in the middle of that. So this is going to um, come into play and then whatever this inner conflict is and this weight you've been carrying around uh, is from, it's going to dissipate and I'm seeing this commitment coming, okay, which is going to bring in a lot of happiness. It's going to change things up, all right? I'm seeing um, some of you have some, you know, some kind of depression or addiction or something, mental illness or, or something you're working on right now, okay? And, and I'm not saying that in a bad way. I mean, mental illness could just be depression or, you know, you could, you could have something like bipolar or something like that. Okay. Um, if this is resonating guys, you know, go seek out some help. It might take you a couple months to get in because a lot of people want in. A lot of people are going for help right now. It's, it's become the norm with the way things have been. Okay. Um, and again, things are going to change. Things are going to change up for the better. Things are going to do a 180. But right now, if you're needing help, all right, by all means, go and get it, you know, get some counseling. Um, don't feel embarrassed in any way or, you know, diminished by that. No, go get it. it it'll help you. Okay. And there is something you want, you're going to get it, guys. Whatever this thing is that you've been wanting, matter of fact, you're going to be getting some communication. And I think it's going to be about what you've been wanting. It's going to be connected to this, okay? And guys, you're moving into new water. We're ready to do this 180 at any time now. Things are going to change. Um, you're going to start seeing it, though. This new start, okay? Right now, you're feeling emotional. A lot of you are having a tower moment regarding your finances. You're juggling your finances. You're feeling regret and sadness, okay? And in comes this new beginning, okay, with all this celebration, all right? And man, guys, we are going to be celebrating when this stuff comes into play. We are going to be celebrating. I mean, I'm trying to, I'm trying to hold back my excitement because... You know, I know I'm not telling you like the whole thing and you're wondering what the hell I'm talking about. I can't really talk about it on the channel because uh, I, I'd be taking a chance of uh, having my channel pulled down. Um, yeah, there's a lot going on in the world right now. But here I'm seeing somebody's, somebody did something here. Somebody did something super sneaky to this feminine who is sitting here. Uh, feeling alone and not really knowing what to do. All right. There was some kind of sneaky, deceitful lying going on here. And, and, you know, you thought this person was for you. You thought this person had your back. And that is the worst part of this for you is you really believe that this person would never do anything to hurt you, to harm you, and that they loved you. And, you know, they, again, you know, third dimensional, low vibrating person. All right. But this is about to turn around because here I'm seeing a soulmate. I'm seeing you feeling alone here and I'm seeing this soulmate coming in for you. Okay. So here you're sitting here and you're feeling alone. Okay. And there is something about finances here coming in for you though. And here's your person coming in super quick and this partnership with this uh, knight, this is romantic. This is also a soulmate, okay? So guys, this is exciting. You have a soulmate coming in for a lot of you. Um, and this is part of your new beginning. So, you know, guys, it's time to celebrate. It's time to get excited. It's time to, you know, just the way that you're perceiving what's going on. It is what it is. You know, we're just going through this for another couple of months and start looking forward to things in the future, okay? We are going to manifest it to come in quicker by thinking about what this is coming in for us and feeling these happy emotions and how wonderful it's going to be, okay? So, yeah, we have all this happiness coming in. We have spirit that has our back. You guys are working hard, okay? And you're trying to figure out how to pay your bills right now, but 
we're about to go through this massive change, guys, okay? Um, Spirit wants you to take care of yourself, love yourself. This is going to help balance out your life and bring in a lot more joy and happiness. All right, guys, that's the reading. I hope you have a great day. Take care.